This past year has been joyful, sad, hopeful, and there have been a lot of tears. In January, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and quickly I had my cancer surgically removed and was given immediate radiation therapy. It was a shock for me, but what hurt me the most was how it affected my family and friends. During this journey, I also faced my past headstrong when Julie asked me to write a summary of what I've been through to try and get £10,000 for funding for Mosaic. And that's exactly what happened. We got the funding. I had to face my past, and when I did, it symbolised how strong I was as a human being. I still come to see Doug the Pug therapy dog and Kate when I can, and when I do, they lift my spirits with their humbleness and understanding. It's wonderful and powerful to experience that feeling, but also knowing that I've been able to help that happen. My idea, I guess, was to provide young children and young adults to CBT and to make it more, more accessible with no waiting list. For me, I wish that I had that support sooner because it helped me overcome my struggles, my past and my present. It changed my life and way of thinking. Last week, I found out that the Lambeth Council took my idea of young children and young adults having CVT and that they are just waiting for a 1.6 million funding to go through to have CBT to schools in Lambeth for seven years. It's life changing, isn't it? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's going to help so many people in, in the long run. Now, TEPs. I got a TEP at Public Health England and it's pretty rad. It's really difficult and different, but that's what I like about it. I like that it's something that I'm not used to doing. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. If I didn't have the support system um, Mosaic offers, I know for sure that I wouldn't be here today. So, I mean, I love this place. And as for my cancer, I'm on remission. <laughs> Thanks for listening.